Hi guys, my name is Marlene McCohen, and this is Vinny, and um, we have some, what are you going to say? Sorry, I'm sorry guys, Vinny has something to say. Vinny, what do you want to say? This is your chance, Vinny. Okay, no, you can't just sit here and get cuddles, the camera's on. Okay, I know. Well, anyway guys, here's the situation. Today is Parent Tip Tuesday, right? But we did not get a story time Sunday. And I think that should be the first order of business today. And I'm going to tell you why. The reason is I had a great story time Sunday planned for you guys. But instead of doing that story time Sunday on Sunday, today, which is Tuesday, I have to tell you the story of what happened on story time Sunday. And then we're going to go into Parent Tip Tuesday. I don't know if I'm going to separate the videos yet or not, but yeah, I think I'm going to separate them. So expect another video after this for Parent Tip Tuesday, which is going to be relative, which is kind of why I need to go over story time Sunday first. So uh, here's the thing. I was in Texas this weekend visiting my brother and my parents and my family and I was really excited because my cockatoo Ty is there and I had all these great videos planned with Ty for you guys including a great story time Sunday which was going to be the story of how I got Ty and hopefully I was going to do it with my dad and it was going to be kind of funny because he's so funny. And uh, I thought that would be really, really good. So I really look forward to being able to do that for you guys one day. But I'm gonna tell you guys the story of what happened on Sunday. And I'm gonna tell you all the details from the beginning because this also explains the delay of Storytime Sunday in the first place. So I'm in Texas and while I'm there, my parents decide it might be a good idea to switch from uh, AT&T to T-Mobile for whatever reason. So they take my phones and they're busy in the store. And I, I was going to use my phone to do a story time Sunday with my cockatoo Ty. And I was going to make videos of him dancing. And I was really, really excited. So they were gone so long. And by the way, I was redecorating my mom's bedroom. Yeah, and it looks so different and so beautiful now. So I was very preoccupied with that. And I finished and I still didn't have my phone. So I called my dad, yeah I know. And I said, I need my phone now, I'm coming to get it. Even if like you haven't done the transfer, I really want the phone because I have to make story time Sunday. So CO and I, that's my brother's girlfriend, she drives me down to the T-Mobile store so I can get my phone. And we decide to bring Ty with us in the car. And I'm like, this is great. I'll even do Parent Tip Tuesday on how to travel with your bird in the car. Like, how exciting, right? So we get to T-Mobile. And I'm getting so prepared. I'm so excited. I'm going to get my phone. I have the bird ready. It's before his bedtime. We're hours ahead. So I haven't completely missed the cutoff of Storytime Sunday, right? So you guys weren't supposed to kill me too bad. And then... When I'm in the T-Mobile store with the bird and the T-Mobile guys and my dad and CO and George, suddenly my dad gets a phone call. Now remember, I'm in Texas and I hear him go, what? Rocky flew away? And I'm like, oh my God, like my heart dropped. I got sick. Like first I panicked. I'm like, what can I do from here? I don't know the details. Like this is like so horrific you know you feel like I, I'm not there I can't do anything so I get on the phone with my sister and she tells me that in a quick second Rocky who was hanging out outside flew away and she cannot find him and he's not in our backyard anywhere are you falling off my shirt now guys I know you guys love or whoever likes to write nasty comments sometimes but it happens occasionally and whether or not you think your bird is going to fly away or there's going to be an accident and I hope there isn't, 
Sometimes there is, and it has nothing to do with you. And you just have to be prepared. So I don't want to go into too many details of him flying away because I don't want anyone to be blamed. But I'm going to continue with the story and tell you what I did and what happened, right? Because whether you whether or not you guys um, want to attack somebody for losing your bird, it's better if you guys kind of listen and understand what to do in the event that it does happen to you. Because sometimes there's other people in your house and it's not you and it's an accident and it's happened before. Vinny has flown away before. I was gonna tell you that story one day too. Right, Vinny? Very naughty. Wish you very naughty, yeah. You naughty. So here we are, and I leave the store and I'm at home and I don't know what to do. In my heart, I know I'm gonna find Rocky. Why? Because he's humongous. Two, he was flighted, which Made me feel like that was a good thing because if a, if a raccoon or any other animal was to come near him, um, he could fly away and he is pretty noticeable. So it's not like, you know, the worst thing that could happen is somebody really trying to keep him, but he's not the easiest bird to keep. So I was really happy that he was flighted. So I asked my sister, did you check the pool? You just want to make sure like he didn't like fall in the pool and God forbid drown or anything like that. I was really, really panicked. George is not very good in these situations, but I remained calm. My sister went around looking for him with a search party and I realized I could do my part from here. So this is what I did. First thing I did was I put an ad out on Craigslist because that's what I can do from here while she's looking for him. The second thing I did was I joined the Nextdoor app. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Nextdoor is kind of like a neighborhood watch app, get to know your neighbor. I wanted to join it before, but I never did because um, I was on the neighborhood watch in my old house. Neighborhood watch is an amazing thing to be a part of when you have birds because if one gets missing, like they send out an email to the entire neighborhood and then from then on they know that you have birds. So if they ever find a bird, you're always going to be the first person they contact. So they're going to be like, hey, I know you have birds. Uh, I read about a missing bird. Is this yours? So that's happened to me before when I didn't even lose a bird. They've contacted me. So um there's panic in the house and then my friend texts me and she's like hey i want to come visit i'm like well it's kind of crazy here everyone's really upset and she's like okay i'll be right there and um it was hard to join the next door app because my cell phone number didn't correlate with my address so we had to put in a credit card because it really verifies that you live there so it's an amazing app and while my sister was running around looking for the bird as soon as I joined Nextdoor app, I went through the pages and there's a picture of Rocky on somebody's kind of like stair railing, you know, cause he loves stair railing. And they have like six pictures of Rocky, like from a distance. So I'm wondering like, did they get him? Did they not? And it says in the post, Hi, we uh, saw this bird today on my neighbor's thing. I don't know if anyone lost a parrot, but now I don't know if they actually were able to capture Rocky or not, because remember, Rocky can sometimes bite and he can sometimes be aggressive. So for somebody who is completely new to parrots and their posts like implied, like, I don't know if someone lost him, like, you know, he doesn't look like he's from around here. like you know, quite the event. There's the largest parrot you're ever gonna see and he's outside on your your balcony. So my sister was going door to door to ask people if they had seen a bird. And um, one thing I should tell you guys, I learned that that is extremely important to check their, your neighbor's backyards or maybe even they had found the bird. You never know. And not just like the neighbor next to you or next to on either side, but like behind and forward and behind that. It's so worth it to check like every single like, you know, street. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot what I was talking about for a second. But anyway, 
So my sister is doing that. She had her friend come over with a flashlight. They're looking through everything. They're running around. She's not really talking to me on the phone much because she's kind of panicking. So like any time that we're on the phone, it's kind of interfering with her looking. We're so sick because we're like, what if he is like has to be out in the dark? Because you really want to find your bird before dark because what happens is they get like, they get like stationed and then they kind of don't move and they're kind of afraid to alert themselves at night. So I go on next door. I see a picture of Rocky. I write an email to that guy privately right away. This is my bird, a link to my YouTube video. So he knows it's my bird. Um, and then I write publicly, hi, that's my bird. So in case he like falls in love with Rocky or something, then, you know, all the other neighbors know that I know that he has him. So we find out, so I call my sister, I find the guy's address because it's on that app. And I tell her, you have to go to this address and knock on the door. So she is on her way over there. I haven't even heard from the guy yet. I don't want to give him a chance to like, not be caught even though he's obviously a good guy because he posted it there and cared and i actually think after looking later on he joined next door app just to find the owner of the bird so he calls and we're so excited and he says i'm home my neighbor is not but my neighbor is the one that has the bird in the house we got him he's safe don't worry, I'll call my neighbor and see if he can come home. But while we were on the phone with him, my sister showed up to his door and was like, hi, uh, you have my bird, right? And he's like, yes, the neighbor does. So my sister was like, there's a car in the driveway. So they knocked on the door and the guy said, before you see the bird, um, we wanna know if he has any mark that you could say is like, original to him which is really smart of them to ask because honestly anybody could have went over and said that's my bird so it's really good that you know they did that so my sister said that rocky has a mark on his beak which he just got and i don't know how he got it they said that um my sister said that um he was flying and he landed somewhere i think that's what happened but i didn't see it and um, she knew about that mark, so it's a good job that he had that mark. And the guy goes, oh yeah, okay, because I think they knew in their head that was the mark that they were talking about on his beak. And my sister, now here's the thing. Rocky can be kind of aggressive sometimes, as you guys know. He's also very jealous, and he's jealous of my sister's love for the dog. So, um, as you guys know, I always say greet birds first because you know, the dogs, they, they're just so excited. They're not going to hold it against you. Or what I do is like the dogs come to my door. So when I come to the door, they're right there and they're in the hallway and the birds don't see me greeting the dogs anyway. So I, you know, but Jenna, she'll like carry the dogs and love the dogs the whole way. And Rocky got really mad at her and he stayed mad at her because she is the original one that he really, really loved. And that's why we brought him home. Well, anyway, my sister goes into the, the guy's house. And she sees Rocky and he's, they got him in a cage that was kind of like, you know, a dog carrier cage, but a big one, something like what we brought him home in originally. And he was a little bit like traumatized. And my sister knew she was like, I have got to be able to pick up Rocky in front of these guys right now. Like if Rocky has to come to me or it's going to look suspicious and obviously he's our bird, but you know how birds can be. So she puts her arm out and she's like, step up Rocky. And he does the thing where he wants to like pretend to bite, but kind of just like does the nip. And she stays there firm because she's like, these guys need to know that like, this is my bird. She picks up Rocky and they're like, whoa, they were so excited because Rocky, you know, didn't really step up to them. And they told her that they made this whole Snapchat series, which I wish, I don't know if they saved it, but I wish they did because I'm probably going to go down there and thank them. Um, this whole Snapchat story 
of how they got the bird into this cage. And um, it turns out that them, I don't have a full story on this, but through my sister and from what I could understand from the Nextdoor app, it was them and a few other people, other neighbors that got involved. And I think the bird even bit one of them at a point. So I was saying today, I think it's so impressive of these neighbors to attempt to get Rocky and save Rocky because if they would have just been like, oh, a bird, I wonder who it is and not bother with him, he would have been outside sleeping late at night or or scared by something else. And maybe we wouldn't have had Rocky that night. So my sister had to take Rocky into the car and she was in the car with um, her friend Joey and they were <laughs> sitting there and apparently my sister said to, to him, hey, this is your chance. If you want to pet a bird like this, because he was kind of in like the in shock mode where he's more like fragile and like acting all fragile. She's like, this is your chance to pet him because usually he's kind of like, you know, a one person bird and he's not going to let you scratch his head or anything. And he's like, I don't know. And she said he like scratched his head for like five minutes petting the bird and the bird was loving it and he was loving it. And then later on, of course, Rocky went to being his normal self. So uh, no second chances to get a good pet off Rocky at that point. So Rocky was home. We sent a picture to the next door app to everybody showing them that Rocky was home and happy and everybody else was happy. And then I like looked at all the gossip and stuff on the next door app like neighbors arguing with each other over like trees hanging and I was like hmm this is very entertaining but aside from that it's so important to be on some sort of neighborhood watch group or app where you can alert all your neighbors that are right there immediately of how your bird is missing because most of the time if someone finds a bird they might also join the app because I think those guys actually join that app just to find Rocky's home. So he was home fairly quickly, but that drama just like freaked me out so much that I just couldn't do anything but look for Rocky. And I couldn't post a story time Sunday because I was just like in shock. And whenever I get in shock, I just have to like take a nap, but I didn't. I, I, uh, I mean like after I found him, I would have taken him, but I didn't. I found him from Texas, guys. Imagine that, like, I had all these ideas of what to do for her, but I also myself found him from Texas, knew that he was home, so the whole situation was cleared up within, like, half an hour, so... They said that he was in their front yard just kind of playing around and hanging out, and that they were playing with him for a little while, so, you know, birds don't want to go anywhere, but it's one of those things where occasionally an accident will happen and maybe it never does and that's amazing, but you still have to be prepared in case it does. Because sometimes when you have guests and you have other people and they don't know the protocol, then things will happen. And sometimes you won't be there and maybe you have to be prepared to sort it all out. So that is the story of Rocky. He's very happy today. Um, the neighbors, by the way, asked my sister if they could come over and visit him. And uh, today I'm probably gonna take over a few bottles of wine to everybody that was involved because you know it was like a complete event for them. And um, yeah, so, and then my sister told them, you could come meet all of our other birds. So. That is story time Sunday, guys. It's like I have all these story time Sundays and something always happens and then we end up with a different story time Sunday. But uh, one thing, so no mean comments about losing the bird. Guys, I can't even stress to you enough how careful I am with these pets. Vinny knows. Vinny, Vinny, did we tell the story of when you flew away? I can't even remember anymore, but you know. You get them back, right? Most of the time. Um, but you gotta, you gotta be careful. You gotta be always aware. You gotta educate everybody on what to do in case you lose your bird. 
everything and you gotta look farther than you would think. So, with that being said, we are gonna sign off now and we're gonna do a Parent Tip Tuesday, which I don't know what it's gonna be about. I was kinda thinking we should do it about losing your bird, but there's kinda like losing your bird and what to do if you're there and what to do if you're not there. So maybe we will do that. So stay tuned for that, guys. And follow us on Instagram and follow us on Twitter. And maybe I should have had Rocky in this video, but the lighting I really like in here. And I wouldn't be able to hold him for this long because he's so heavy. And I don't know that I'd be able to drag a stand up here like his stand right now. So I probably should have done that, guys. But anyway, Vinny loves being in the thing. And by the way, also like what you don't know is all the birds are here besides for Rocky and they're all being very quiet. So I kind of have them in their situation. You probably do hear Cody in the back though. That's it guys. Please subscribe, we love new subscribers. And so now I have a new phone. So officially back to parrot video of the day. I hope you guys don't mind. I might upload a few videos today, uh, a few parrot video of the days because I have been slacking on that and I'm really sorry. I have the videos, I just, I don't know. Sometimes I get overtired sometimes too with, with these angels. And um, that is it guys, I love you.